Good morning, folks. Welcome for coming. Welcome to this uh, to our presentation here. Let's start get started. We talk, we'll talk about multi-tenant traffic visibility and why is that important in an OpenStack environment, primarily for enterprises as you, as customers move into the enterprise clouds, and also for the service providers and carriers, especially in an NFVI architecture. I am Sesh, one of the product managers uh, on the portfolio with the portfolio. Why traffic visibility? Why is it important? Primarily because network traffic doesn't lie. I mean, you can look at all the log data that you want, but traffic itself is the tr source of the truth. So we need that. Thank you, sir, for, for cheering me on. And modern data center and security tools rely on this traffic for analysis, right? I mean, logs are at point in time, but this gives you a lot more. Uh, you can peek into the traffic for inspection. And mobile operators, especially as they service subscribers, a lot of these subscribers need this traffic for analysis or providing better services for their customers so they could also use this traffic for analysis. And finally, I mean, we don't want to you know, say anything about negative about log data. You still need that for alarms and events and so on, but we believe traffic augmented with log data will give you your entire uh, picture into your network. And wh why, does, why do you need pervasive monitoring, right? And here are some, some, some use cases. Increasing threats, right? You cannot secure what you cannot see. So logs may give you the data a little bit, but not the entire packet information that you want to capture and analyze. Next use case, you go to your distributed applications that have east-west traffic patterns where these VMs are migrating across your entire infrastructure. How do you, as they propagate through the infrastructure, how do, you, how do you visualize them or how do you inspect that traffic? All these new blind spots, VXLAN. Anybody using VXLAN here or looking at overlay technologies? There you go. How do you get, how do you get your tools to, to be offloaded? They don't have to do the inspection. How can we help you with, with that as well? So these blind spots, I mean, they're optimized. They're optimized because those overlay technologies help you. But we also want to make sure the, pres the investments that you have preserved in your tools can, can still be applied for those new, new, new traffic patterns. And then finally, NFE. We are here at OpenStack Summit. You know, there's a lot of NFE discussion. There's a lot of overlay discussions with SDN and OpenStack and KVM. And as you consider migrating to this infrastructure, you want to maintain your visibility across that spectrum as well. So again, the key drivers, security, application performance, as well as NFE monitoring for subscribers. These are the core tenants that we would say need, need visibility into that traffic. All right, so let's... I can get this. Okay, who deploys Gigamon? How many of you heard of Gigamon? All right. Well, that's cool. That's great. So again, here's you know we are in, in in a lot of these institutions. Right? I won't read through them, but we are in the Fortune 100. All all kinds of uh, customer base here with all the verticals. So but so we've been deployed there. But see, these customers are now migrating over into the virtual infrastructure, both VMware environments, OpenStack environments, and others. And they need this continuous visibility as they migrate to the next business infrastructure. But we're not doing this by ourselves, right? We, we are helping the tools optimize with the traffic that we provide them. We have our friends from Viavi here who, who also, and I'll walk through a demo with them, that we have integrated with their ecosystem as well to forward these tools. And then we also are working with RSA as a security analytics company that, to get this traffic as well. So rich set of these tools. If you are a customer who recognizes these tools, obviously you would need these packets to analyze them. Anybody recognize these tools in the, in the environments that you have? That's cool. So finally, what are the challenges? And why did we get into this place? Why are we, why are we in the OpenStack Summit talking about this? Let's click through some use cases. If you have a typical server, your, your tier one server that is physical, you could span the traffic or tap the traffic and then inspect it. But if you virtualize that same server now with high consolidation ratios going anywhere from 10 to 100 per host, you get this kind of deployment where this east-west traffic is a blind spot. Nobody's inspecting that. How do you get that traffic to, be to your tools for analysis? Right? So this is where Gigamon fits in to solve that specific challenge. Again, security, application, and VNF monitoring. All of them who deploy this OpenStack infrastructure need that visibility. So here is how we have, some of the customers have tried to address it. They might put these virtual probes on each of your hypervisors. Now, that's a good solution temporarily, but it takes up space on the host. 
right? It eats into your consolidation ratios. And if you want to put in a new tool to monitor that, that becomes a challenge. So a better approach is actually get one, one probe or one virtual tap, if you will, in the hypervisor and get the traffic for all the tools that need it. So you only grab the traffic once from the virtual infrastructure and deliver to your, all your monitoring tools that need it. The other, the other advantage of this is as you scale to new infrastructures or new tools that need this, you just plug into the Gigamon infrastructure, and they have that traffic readily available. So you don't have to go, do, go into the hypervisor and do anything there. So if you take it up at a 1,000-foot level or 10,000-foot level, here's how it would look in a typical deployment. You deploy a GigaView VM. We're calling this you know, a virtual tap, if you will, a Gigamon virtual machine that gets the traffic from the hypervisor and then routes it over your production network right, into your visibility fabric that can provide to the tools. So you're using your own production infrastructure for your traffic analysis as well. Now, some of, your, some of the customers that we have spoken to also, let me build one more, are also physical. I mean, their they database servers, for example, haven't migrated over to the virtual infrastructure. So it's not just within the hypervisor, but in some cases it could be a hypervisor to a database server that needs this visibility. Now, this is not a all virtual solution, even though you could deploy it. It is a combination of intelligence at the edge, get the traffic from the virtual hypervisor, and then also some traffic optimization on our hardware appliances so your tools get better visualization of that traffic. That's all great. So we've had the solution with VMware, ESX, and NSX for a while. But over the last one year, we've been looking at OpenStack. As OpenStack has taken on, you know, it's become pretty prevalent in the enterprise and service providers. How do you get this visibility? Some of the challenges with OpenStack itself is it's tenant friendly, very tenant friendly, in which case you, you, you as a tenant cannot go to your operator and say, give me port mirroring, give me that traffic, because then that becomes a, a barrier to entry, in which case, how do you get visibility? That's what we are trying to solve here. We looked at two use cases. We proposed TAP as a service. Anil here, our distinguished engineer from Gigamon. Wave Anil. So he has a speech today. He has, he has a discussion with a couple of the vendors today, later in the evening, to talk about TAP as a service as well. But while that's going on through the OpenStack community, we also were looking at what are the other options available. So we came up with an alternate approach called intelligence at the edge visibility, where you get the traffic right in the VM itself and then analyze it while we still are investing in TAP as a service for it to be adopted in the community. Once we have that, you need an orchestration. How do you integrate with OpenStack itself? And that's where our centralized orchestration layer will integrate with OpenStack to configure these traffic policies. And then finally, that traffic, once it is captured from the, from the virtual infrastructure, can be optimized by our visibility fabric nodes before delivering it to the tools. So it's an intelligence at the edge layer with a traffic optimization layer before the tools inspect it. So a holistic solution for, for scale as well as, as well as reach. So here is how it works. I mean, obviously, this is a tap as a service. Again, Anil will talk about this today. Uh, it, it works with, it, it's, the plan is to get into open, OpenStack as part of the end release. And you know, hopefully, you guys can, can listen in to that speech. A uh, quick plug for that. It's at 4, 4.10 today. So I know a lot of people have stopped by our booth and asked about that. Or you can talk to Anil after this session. And, then, and talk to him as well. But while that is going on, here's what we're looking at the intelligence of the edge and core. So here's a solution. It's a light footprint agent, sits in the target virtual machine. It could be packaged into your VM itself as part of a glance repository image. And every VM that gets spun up can have this agent in. It can do filtering and sampling as well. So you got the traffic at the edge. You can aggregate it into our virtual GigaView VM, which, which then can do the forwarding of the traffic to the physical infrastructure where the optimizations happen. So you can look for optimized traffic with SSL decryption, for example, GTP correlation for subscriber awareness. You can generate metadata out of that. You can optimize the traffic before the tools inspect it. So the tools are not burdened with all these optimizations. They're, they're, they're doing their best job, and we can, we can help them with that. So that's our solution today. It's available. It's, you know, it's, it's, for, it's GA right now. I'll walk through a quick demo of that as well. But before that, what, you know, as we talked about it, this is, in a sense, feeding the tools. The tools have to be on board on this. So we have two use cases. So, sorry. 
two use cases, one with RSA, who are a security analytics company, who, uh, a vendor, obviously. They take this traffic and feed it into the security analytics infrastructure for securing the OpenStack private clouds. That's one use case. But the second important use case, probably more, most of you are also familiar, is the NF NFVI space, where you have a bunch of virtual network functions. Now, how many of you are in the VNFs, are looking at VNFs, going into VNF environments? So this VNFs, where, where you actually have to need this monitoring solutions, you deploy this agent, aggregate the virtual, inf virtual traffic, and then deliver it to the tools. So that's where you get your visibility into your VNF. So as your P gateways or S gateways scale out, you can also deploy this as well. So a quick version. This is your before view, where as you virtualize all your uh, VNF, NF, uh, VNF functions, like IMS or EPC, got all these blind spots now that, cannot, that you cannot inspect. But the new normal after deploying the Gigaview, Gigamon solution is now you got it covered, so you don't have any blind spots, and that'll help you get your full inspection with subscriber awareness if needed. So the before and the after picture of how the visibility can help your infrastructure. So the other advantage, obviously, also is as you roll out new services, you can use this infrastructure to inspect it before providing subscriber services as well. So I'm going to walk through a demo here with, with our friends Viavi. They're here, so if you want to stop by and ask them how this integration worked, We'll do that. So give me one second here. Oops. So here's a case where you know, we have deployed a SIP application, a voice application, and put an agent in there to get the voice traffic over, aggregated it at the GigaView VM virtual layer, orchestrated by the fabric manager for all these virtual policies, and then feeding it to the tools. That's the VRV monitoring su suite that looks at the traffic. All of you recognize this picture. This is Liberty with the SIP server and the SIP client talking to the service with a virtual traffic visibility node and an orchestration platform also in the same cloud, and also the VRV set of tools that are inspecting this traffic. Here's a quick preview of the Fabric Manager, which is a centralized orchestration platform. It has integration with multiple clouds, VMware, ESX, NSX, and OpenStack where you can define these traffic policies for inspecting the traffic. So here's a good example of where we are capturing SIP traffic with a capture rule of getting all the traffic over. A quick layout of how, where the ingress and where the destination tool is. There's a quick, quick view of that. And then finally, we're going, to in, we're going to initiate some SIP traffic, to generate a SIP P and a SIP C traffic. And then we want to inspect that and then deliver it to a tool. And here's the Viavi analyzer itself that is looking at the performance analyzer and then getting that traffic and inspecting it on the fly. So this way, as you look at any, any call drops or anything like that, you can monitor it through the Viavi application. And if you want to double click a little bit deeper into that inspection, you got that as well. So this is a holistic system of capturing at the edge, delivering it to the tool, and all of it you know, with, v with Gigamon in orchestrating this infrastructure. That way, your, calls, your call services can be inspected. So that's pretty much what I had with the demo. Let me go back and summarize some key benefits here. Again, as you, as you consider migrating into this infrastructure, you're looking at you know, maintaining compliance, security, and monitoring as you migrate over from the, in, to the new infrastructure. You got your optimized monitoring tools themselves you, you, you don't have to have probes. You can, you can inspect it centrally and then forward it to the tools for analysis. Remote data centers. Most customers have a centralized core and a remote data center that you need to grab the traffic as well. So this also allows you to do that function. So if you have a, if you have a remote OpenStack cloud that needs to forward traffic into a centralized OpenStack infrastructure, you've got that. Multi-hypervisor support. A quick show of hands. How many of you use VMware and OpenStack in your deployments? Cool. So I, I guess either, either to, for new applications, greenfield, brownfield, but again, you got covered from both sides. And obviously, we also have the thought leadership working with the OpenStack community as well. Again, just a quick plug for the tap of the service discussion. So if you want to, hang, if you want to you know, attend that and get more details, more than welcome to do that. That's all I had. Thanks for your time. We're all here. So if you have any specific questions on how this can help, hang out, and we'll, we'll talk more. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.